Sammy Sasso undefeated here in 2021. Four no record. Last season, 24 and three, undefeated in the Big Ten at nine and no in Big Ten duels. He was a Big Ten finalist last year in the tournament, losing to Pat Lugo of Iowa in a war. They lost two to one. NCAA qualifier, academic all Big Ten, 12 and three against top 25 opponents. Ranked number two in the country is the undefeated Sammy Sasso. Hunter Baxter, the redshirt junior, one and four this season, beat Jackson Renneker by decision, eight to three. Last season, six and 22, he appeared in 18 of 19 dual matches for the Terrapins. Sasso getting the two, peeling off the hands. Sasso, a black shirt. Gets one of few uh, wrestlers that get to wear the black shirt in the uh, uh, in the wrestling room, and that goes to those who are consistent competitors in all of life. They bring it every day to the mat, classroom, socially, and like Tom Ryan says, they're a savage in life. <laughs> and uh, Sammy Sasso, one of the black shirts, will point them out as they come, but. They're, they prove themselves to Coach Ryan and the coaching staff and they get to wear black shirts in the practice room. Coming up on the midway point of the first period, a two to one advantage for Sammy Sasso. Tom Ryan said that he thought Sammy could have won a national title last year, but due to COVID-19, the NCAA championships were canceled. He said about Sasso, he loves to compete and he forces you to wrestle his style. But Sasso has proclaimed that he wants to be more offensive and he wants to make it a higher scoring match and he wants to do it against the top guys and he's ranked number two so he has quite a bit to prove in his mind. Yeah, out of Nazareth, uh, Pennsylvania, hotbed for wrestling, going way, way back and uh, he does, he wants to bring the heat all the time. And you've got to love the sport to put the time in to be able to put the heat on all the time. Or you'll just never put the time and the work in unless you love the sport like a guy like Sammy Sasso does. And his parents, Rob and Lorraine, they're the, they're the kind of parents that help put that love of the sport in. And now the cradle that's this been so tough for Sammy Sasso pinned Michael Carr from Illinois the other day in their dual meet with a cradle in the first period. That's a bad spot for Hunter Baxter. Hunter Baxter was able to get to his belly, though, showing some intestinal fortitude there. 10-2 to 2 lead, though, for Sammy Sasso. Yeah, Sasso, you notice, not on his knees, driving forward, gets a boot in there, but he's, you know, he has so much pressure. Traps the ankle back there. And he's got the ankle, or the, the leg in, the hips kind of loose. That ends the first period, 10-2. Jumping out to an early lead, Sammy Sasso. Here's the cradle that uh, Sasso locks up. Now drives through and trying to give some room for that shoulder to come through. Not quite able to get it. And as you pointed out, Baxter fighting off his back to avoid the pin. 10-2 lead for the two-time Pennsylvania state champion in high school at Nazareth, Sammy Sasso. For Hunter Baxter, a two-time state place winner in Pennsylvania, took fourth and eighth at Pine Richland High School. As Sasso gets away from Hunter Baxter to pick up the point. Center. Center. The action continues. This is the second half of our doubleheader here on this Sunday afternoon. You saw Iowa top Illinois earlier today here on the Big Ten Network. Sasso good in every position. Baxter got in on the leg. Sasso cuts the corner and is very, very good at that far ankle scramble, looking to push that leg off, come up. But uh, like I said, on Friday night, he got um, taken to the third period. But what happened just now is in on the legs, but he's able to get in the cross shift and look for that far ankle and get in that far ankle scramble. But Sasso's showing that he's not phased by discomfort and adversity. Giving up a takedown or getting tied, you know, going to the third period. And that's uh, the resilience 
and the belief that Tom Ryan is trying to instill in all of his wrestlers, and he certainly has it in Sasso. Another takedown there, extends his lead. Well, Sammy Sasso might be thinking about a technical fall here. Yeah, looking to try to put the Turk action and get the hips turned so he can get the shoulders turned, but he's gonna go back to his feet. Wouldn't Sammy. be surprised if he tries to go from his feet to a cradle action. Gets in there, there's the waterfall position for Baxter. Sam Soso trying to come out the back door. A scramble between these two. 13 to three lead for Sammy Sasso, ranked number two in the country at 149 for the Ohio State Buckeyes. You know that Sasso's looking for those bonus points, Tim. He would love a technical fall. But Hunter Baxter is not making it easy as we head towards the third period. Yeah, but uh, two points there with four seconds left gives uh, Sasso an opportunity to accomplish what you said he's going for, a tech fall out in front by 12. He knows where he's at. Hunter Baxter, who head coach Alex Clemson said is a great kid to coach. He's wrestling in place of the redshirt freshman Michael North. So Hunter Baxter getting this start in place of the freshman Michael North. Sammy Sasso just gave up the point, but I think he did that deliberately. Baxter knowing what he has to do here, but here is where Sasso is so dangerous is you don't want to have your head down, head close to knees, because there comes the takedown and the cradle. So one way or another, one way or another, this, this is over. The tech fall likely coming to Sammy Sasso, but he's going for the pin now. He's going for the pin to Sasso, and he gets it. Sammy Sasso remains undefeated with a dominant performance over Hunter Baxter. Sammy Sasso following Malik Heinzelman, both of them getting falls 18 to nothing. It is all Ohio State. Well, Sammy Sasso ranked number two in the country. Wanted to prove to everybody there's a reason why he's among the elite at 149, and he did it with a pinfall over Hunter Baxter.